another video, another day. These videos are really gonna get like, this week hard. Oh well. Got a lot to go. I got a lot going on, so I probably should do something easy. Got it. We're gonna do writing books with recommendations again. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll give my three more of my favorite books on writing. Welcome back, Collective of Sanity. I am your humble and awesome leader, Tim Green. I write in the pen name T Green. And you may hear some noise of something moving. Uh, there's a dog here today moving around, so you may hear him just kind of in the background. Usually he sits down and lays and does nothing, but he does get moving. So if you also see me kind of look down a lot, that's what I'm looking at is him. Well, again, collective, we're going to do a short video. Why? Well, because my time is very compact right now. I don't think I've mentioned this in a video yet. I'm moving in a week from tomorrow. I want to get these videos um, on a regular basis to you, but at the same time, what I have to get done to move is uh, a lot. Let's just put it that much. It's a lot. And I just want to do some short videos. But to make up for this last week's short video, where I basically just filmed it in and reading quotes to you, it was good advice at the same time. So to make up for you this week, I mean, you're not going to get just this week, today's video. You're not going to get a second video. You're going to get three videos this week. Tomorrow, I will be launching my first vlog dealing with my writing contract that I ta have talked about here and there with my friends. So I ensure that I write. So you can tune in tomorrow for that. You're also getting the first video of my NaNoWriMo series on Thursday one week from the start of NaNoWriMo. With that said, today we're going to be talking about books on writing. I'm a huge proponent of learning as much as you can on the craft of writing as possible. I've done this over and over again. And today I'm going to give you three more books on writing that you need to read. And there's actually a theme of those books. The theme is elements of writing. Elements of fiction writing, my bad. If you don't know what the uh, elements of fiction writing is, it's actually kind of a series of books on writing covering the main details of characters, setting, dialogue, stuff like that. There's actually 10 books in this series written by different authors. So I will have a link down in the description to Amazon where you can find those books. It's a definitely recommended that you go and read those books. I will be picking three of those books that you need to read. And it's not just because it's the only three I own. It's not, I swear. <laughs> it's the only three I've read. We're going to dive right into them. Book number one that you need to read from the elements of fiction writing is Characters and Viewpoints. This book is by Orson Scott Card. This is actually probably one of the first write books on writing I picked up. Uh, I honestly don't remember when I picked this book up. Uh, it was a long time ago. It was probably early 2000s. Maybe even before then. I don't know. But yeah, it's a good book. Uh, it goes in on how to develop characters, decisions, uh, memory, you name it. Like, I'm just seeing, reading different like sub um, categories in here of bullying. Uh, sexual tension, signs, and, and it also talk, goes into dealing with viewpoint and of the character, third person, first person. I think it even covers second person at some point, but it's definitely a good book you should read. Um, and I started with this one because characters, that's what people come to read. Yes, they may, you may have a world building junkie like this guy. I love good, strong worlds, but as interesting as your world may be, if it's even if you have a strong story, if you don't have good characters, I'm gone. Bye. I'm sorry. I just don't care. Gotta learn characters. This will help. The second book that you need to read from the elements of 
fiction writing is conflict, action, and suspense. This book can very much help you if you have any problems with those three things. It will dive deep into the each category and kind of break it down. Conflict, action, and suspense. I'm sorry. It's by William Noble, just so you know. It talks about like stuff like setting the stage, um, block to build upon blocks like opening. Yeah, it's just kind of like giving you how to go about things and really well. And I don't remember anything from this because it was a while. This was probably in the early 2000s when I read this book. And it definitely should read it. It will help you with this. Like all of them, if you talk to any author or writer out there who's been doing it for a while what books to read, this whole series is on the list. Book number three that you need to read from the elements of fiction writing is Description and Setting by, by Ron Rozelle. Yeah, this you can tell it's a little bit a little more beat up. I read this a few times, I think. This I remember reading this one in college the first time. Probably around 2005, I think I started reading this one, because that's when I started, really started to read a lot of books on writing. So maybe when the time I read all these books, but I actually remember reading this one because I stopped for a little while. I don't remember. I don't think I actually finished this book. Oh yes, I didn't. School got in the way, uh, and I just forgot to pick it back up. So I should actually probably finish it. But what I remember of it, it was good. It was helpful. Probably should have read it in order to help me with the this early on. But it's a great book from what I remember, the little I really remember of reading it. I enjoyed it. And definitely should pick this up again along with the lines. If you're having problems describing a um, description and doing developing your settings and making it interesting, some people like to say the setting is just as much of a character as the actual people in your story. This can help with that. Again, it's another great book. I, now that I remember, I didn't finish this one. Uh, I will have to go and read it at some point. Well, Collective, that's all I got for you today. Like I said, all the, the, the links down below in the description will be there for those three books, as well as a link to the other books in this series. I recommend reading these books. I do plan on going through the rest of the books. Now that I actually realize there's actually ten of them, there's nothing more important than learning a, as much as you can on the craft of writing. Even if you're relearning a lot of stuff you already know, it's a great way to reinforce information. And sometimes you may find something in those areas that you thought you already figured out or knew, but it may actually click something that you thought you understood but didn't. And now you have a better understanding. Like I said, links down below. While you're heading down that way, you're clearly made to the end of this video, so you are clearly liking what I'm talking about. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And while you're right there, go hit the subscribe button and then move on over to that bell and click it, ring it, ding a ding ding, and join the collective. Like I said, my videos tomorrow and Thursday will be going up this week. And the only way to know when they go live for sure is to click that bell and be part of the collective and you'll know instantly. If you have any other questions, please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these books. If you've read them, tell me what you thought. If you liked them, tell me why. If you didn't like them, tell me why. If you're looking for more stuff on writing, you can go over to the Zero One podcast group where my buddy Adam Daly and I are world building a brand new world for you so you can see how we go about it, covering pretty much every topic that we can think of on world building. And we're talking about examples, all that good stuff. Link down below to that. Also, beyond that, you can find me on social media. Go find me on Instagram. You can find the photos I post daily about writing, artwork I'm doing for my... Also, I'm posting videos for my writing trips to cross, New, uh, cross Massachusetts and New York for seeing places that take place in my upcoming novel, Seeing Through the Veil. I have videos over there. You go over there to find that and you can see those videos. In the meantime, have a great writing week. Prepare for NaNoWriMo and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!